Hello again everybody. Uh, today we're going to come back to animations and do a short tutorial on how animations work with uh, layers. Um, and this is going to be very short because uh, animations work with layers in uh, pretty much exactly the way that you would expect them to. So uh, we will look at the same little robot animation we had before. We have uh, two animations here. One is the uh, idle animation here and down in the uh, little preview playback window uh, we can see what that looks like and we had the walking animation and you can see what that looks like here and we drew all of this on a single layer um, and you'll notice if we turn that layer off uh, the animation disappears and if you were to export the animation with that layer turned off you would get uh, eight blank frames uh, so the uh, animation is um, is generated from whatever layers are visible when you export. So uh, to demonstrate this quickly, uh, I created just a simple layer here for clothes for a robot, gave him a blue shirt and some dark blue pants. Um, and you can see all that's on this layer is uh, those clothes and so you can see down the playback window here we've got the clothes moving and animating uh, but the robot's not there so if we turn the robot back on now now we have the clothes and the robot together uh, now keep in mind the order of these layers makes a difference so if I move clothes below uh, you can't see it move it back up now we can so make sure your layers are in the correct order uh, and make sure whatever you want uh, to show up in your animation is actually a layer that's visibility is turned on. Um, so let's see here, what else can we talk about with layers and animation? Um, working with layers is, is pretty nice for this. Um, for pretty much the same reasons layers are nice working on anything. Uh, you know, we can have our base character here on layer zero, and I'll come up to this new layer, and we can actually just draw right on top of him, right? So if we we're going to give him a mask, let's say, um, you know, with just his eyes sticking out, something like that, um, you know, we can we can do that and use the bottom layer just as a guide, and then you know just come through here create this uh, little ninja mask kind of thing. Um, so, you know, that's really all there is to working with layers. Now you can see obviously it turns on and turns off because we haven't finished it. Um, but if we turn that off, again it's gone. So, uh, let me just turn this closed layer back on here and let me export uh, the animation, export animation, um, let's export it as a GIF and let's blow this up like pixel scale of like 8 just so it's big enough we can see and we're gonna put that in our tutorials folder robot animation uh, layers we'll call it so let's go save that close and now if we come back in here we should see uh, yeah, uh, yeah, here. So we open that up in, I guess, Explorer grabs priority on GIFs, but there you go. So the clothes are on there. So uh, just to recap, to use layers with animations works exactly the same as using layers any other time. Just remember when you export, the only layers that are going to make it into the final uh, uh, animation sprite sheet or uh, GIF or whatever are the layers that are turned on at the moment. So I uh, hope that uh, helps a little bit, just clarify how this works, and I will see you all next time.